In order to install and set up MySQL in Windows, first we will start with MySQL server installation on Windows. Then we would install the workbench. After that, we would create a database from MySQL shell. Similarly, we would create another database using the MySQL workbench also. And finally, we would run few basic SQL queries in the databases we created. To get started in your search engine, just type MySQL and press enter. Go to this first link which is www.mysql.com. Click on Downloads, scroll below. Click on MySQL Community GPL Downloads. Under this MySQL Community Downloads, select this MySQL Community Server. Here we have the releases. Different versions are available. I'm going to select this LTS support available at this point of time, which is 8.4.3. We can select the operating system. I'm going to continue with Windows. There are multiple options. I'm going to select MSI Installer. Click download. You can log in or sign up, but that is not mandatory. I'm clicking on this no thanks. Just start my download. Download is completed. Going to the folder. Let's double click on this installer. Preparing to install. You can see this message. This application requires Visual Studio 2019 x64 redistributable. Please install the redistributable, then run this installer again. Now, in your system, if this redistributable is already there, you won't face this problem, but in MySQL 8 onwards, this is the one which we have to install as a prerequisite. But note one thing over here, it is Visual Studio 2019 x64. That's what the message is stating. Let's click on OK. Click Finish. Before we proceed further, I just want to highlight a few things. MySQL requires this Microsoft Visual C++ 2019 x64 redistributable. So versions 8 and above often requires this package to function correctly on Windows. After installation, it's better to restart your system and then we can retry the installation. In Google, specifically you search with Microsoft Visual C++ 2019 redistributable, not the one that was mentioned in the installer. Press enter. Let us support this Visual C++ redistributable downloads. Click over here. Scrolling down, we have all these packages available. I want for x64. Let me click on this link. Download completed. Going to the folder. Double click. Click on I agree. Install. Let me minimize everything and just keep this installer on screen. Setup successful. Click on close. Going back to the installer. Double click. Again, it's preparing to install. Click next. Now we don't face any issue. Click on I accept. Next. We have three options over here. I'm selecting typical which is recommended for most users. So select typical, click install. Completed the MySQL server setup wizard. Now, if we click on finish, it's going to run MySQL configurator. Click on finish, clicking on next. This is the data directory path. Unless you explicitly need, you can keep the option as is. Click in next again, next. Here we need to provide the root password. Be careful so that whatever password you provide, you remember it. Click next. Next again, keeping the first option as yes, grant full access to the user running the Windows service. Next again, if you want, you can select this sample databases. I'm keeping them as is, clicking next again, click execute. All of these configuration steps, I can see the green check over here. Click next, click finish. Press the Windows button, type MySQL. You can see this option, MySQL command line client. Click on this here. We need to enter the password which we provided during installation. Let me type that. Press enter. Now I'm inside the MySQL shell. I want to install the MySQL workbench also. Going back to browser. Again in the browser, we can just search with MySQL. Go to MySQL website. Downloads. Scrolling down. MySQL community downloads. Here under MySQL community downloads, we have this MySQL workbench. Click on this. By default, Windows is selected over here. So this is the MSI installer, MySQL Workbench Community 8.0.40. Click on download. Just start my download. Going to the folder, double click on this. Next, next again, complete, install. If I finish, MySQL Workbench would be launch. Click on finish. Maximize. This is the welcome screen for the workbench. It is showing the local instance. Click on this. Providing the password over here. Select save password in vault. Click OK. Getting a connection warning. Click on continue anyway. So this is the workbench view. Under schemas, I can see system. 
or sys. So we are done with MySQL installation and the Workbench installation. Now we are going to create few databases first from MySQL shell which I have already opened and then we would create the same from MySQL Workbench. Here under MySQL shell let me type show databases. I can see information schema, MySQL, performance underscore schema and sys. Let me create a database over here. Create database demo db. Database created. Show databases. Now I can see the demo db listed. Use demo db. Database changed. Pasting a create table command over here. So I have created a table called employees. It has typical fields like ID, first name, last name, department, salary, etc. Now I'm going to insert some sample records over here. Let me run. Select star from employees. You can see the created record. Same way, if I go back to Workbench now, let me refresh the schema. I can see the demo DB over here. Now here, we are going to create a new database. We can click on this particular icon, create a new schema in the connected server. Or we can right click on this section and select this create schema. I'm going to provide a name demo DB2. Click on apply. You can see the associated SQL script shown over here. Click apply. It's executing the SQL. Click finish. Now select this demo db2. We can see there is no table created. We can just select these tables and click on create table. So here we can manually create the table or there is another way. Let me close this without saving it. Now, instead of creating the table from the wizard, we can create it via a SQL tab also. I have selected this database. I can click on create a new SQL tab for executing queries. Here, let me run a query to create a sample table. So, this is my query to create a table called product. It has ID, name, category, price, stock, etc. Click on this to execute the query. At the bottom, you can see the table creation is successful. Let me insert some data. Let me execute this. Insert is done. Let me just expand this over here. I can run a select statement over here or I can directly see the data. Refresh this. Under tables, I have products. Right click. Select rows. Now it's showing me the available records. So to summarize, we have installed MySQL, MySQL Workbench. We have accessed the MySQL shell. From there, we created a database, a table, populated some data, and finally, we fetched the data. Same thing we did from MySQL Workbench also. I would be sharing all the queries used throughout this video separately in the YouTube video description so that you can use them later on if needed. In case you have liked this video, I would request you to like and subscribe and comment if you have any feedback or suggestion.